Hey, welcome to vlog number seven. It's Sunday the 22nd of October 2017. Ignore the caterpillar on my top right lip. As mentioned in previous videos, I actually attend a local dance group called Cheshire Swing Cats. Uh, and I'll be going there later on this evening as well. But one of the instructors there has got quite an impressive handlebar moustache. So I've decided to, to grow mine back out again. I've actually got a picture on my laptop here of what I usually look like. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's what I look like when I do have my handlebar moustache grown out. So hopefully you'll, you'll see that evolve over the next couple of videos as well. Uh, and also as mentioned in previous videos, I don't usually wear a snapback hat, but I'm supporting my Vanuatu snapback from when I uh, spent some time visiting my younger brother James in uh, Vanuatu in the South Pacific. Uh, as I'm filming in our family summer house as well, which is uh, I'm surrounded by Vanuatu flag. So this is the national flag of Vanuatu, a place that's very close to my family's heart. As I said, James has been out there for the last five or six years. Uh, my my mum and dad went out to visit him actually uh, over a couple of weeks ago, and and this one also has a map of uh, some of the seventy odd islands that make up Vanuatu. Uh, so you can see Pentecost, where James has spent the majority of his time. Uh, as mentioned before, I was lucky enough to go out there and spend some time with his uh, his family over there in, in, in a village called uh, Waterfall, as well as volunteer at school that he set up, which has now moved to a, a village further north called Bwat Napni. Uh, and then lower down, you can also see uh, the, the island of Efete, which has Port Villa on it, the, the country's capital, where I also run a bit of a site called Port Villa, portvillaguide.com, but I haven't really done too much with that at the moment i probably won't get around to that for the next year uh, as i'm spending a lot of my time or a lot of my free time when i'm not in work on everythingchester.co.uk as you can see on the uh, on the t-shirt as well but yeah what i'm what i'm going to talk about today is the seo meetup that i went to on tuesday of this week it won't really be a how-to guide of like h1 tags and alt attributes and metadata and backlinks and things i will do maybe some spin-off vlogs on how to for some of the skills that i've, I've learned over the years uh, and then document other things that I'm, I'm looking into as well like investing in bitcoin i need to sort out some of my finances over the next few weeks so i'll be in, investing not a, not a huge amount, but a significant amount of my uh, personal wealth into some of the digital currencies as well. So I'll uh, let you know how I get on with that. But yeah, what I'm here to talk about today is the the SEO meetup. So uh, as mentioned in previous videos, videos, it's a it's a great way to network as well. So I've got my business card hall here, actually, of of all the people I've met from the from the past couple of uh, uh, Chester SEO and digital marketing meetups. Uh, I really like these business cards, actually, some of the metallic ones. So uh, Craig Campbell and uh, Andy Drinkwater as well. I've got those those uh, metallic business cards. I think they're, they're awesome. And I'm actually looking forward to heading down to Brighton with them as well. Uh, they're going to send an email over with all the details and things, but they usually go to the, some of the conferences in Brighton. So next April, really looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, so last Tuesday... Uh, we, we had the meetup. We actually moved to the Bear and Billet, which is the favourite haunt of mine anyway for, for beer and burger. They usually do a really good beer and burger there. Uh, yeah, so went there and it was a little bit more structured than, than the, the previous month. So there was actually three talks, uh, three presenters. So Andy actually gave the, the first one and he talked more about uh, like some of the some of the SEO tools you can use and the benefits and limitations of, of each one. He has a lot of clients where we use those tools, and we were kind of given you know we can get special prices on them over the over the next couple of weeks if we we sign up for them to to trial them. So I found that really beneficial. Uh, awesome talk, Andy. And then yeah, the second talk was probably my my favorite actually. Uh, it was another guy. Let's. Uh, Let's bring up my notes on some of the things that was discussed. So a guy called Neil Cole, actually, and he did a, a presentation on some of the common myths surrounding CRO, so conversion rate optimization. But what I really liked about his talk was the fact he brought in uh, his knowledge from other fields as well. So it wasn't a purely technical thing. He brought in principles from psychology and I'm all for that. You know, I kind of, one of my taglines is I'm a jack of all trades, master of bioinformatics. And I love people that will draw on other, other experiences as well. Cause it's, 
it is important to be seen as sort of a, an advisor or a, what's the word I'm looking for? A guru in a, maybe a, a certain niche, but also not to be one dimensional and to, to draw on other, other fields of knowledge as well. Uh, so like sort of when I went to the business world of uh, going to recruitment consultancy, I kind of had all my biological knowledge and I could kind of draw off that. So Neil delivered a, a really good talk and he used kind of analogies from yeah, psychology and things and, and how that influences people's decisions. But also he used like World War II, uh, different studies that have been used there. Uh, what, what else did he cover? Kind of, yeah, there was a, there's a guy that did a study called Abraham wald uh, and it was all about fighter planes and he kind of he took that knowledge and applied it to to seo and he, he actually works for for a company based in between chester and wrexham uh, and he's covered most of the top gamble insights as well within the uk uh, and yeah i just i just found that really interesting and another i guess another thought spin off thought from that is when i did work at it recruitment consultancy the fact that different people wouldn't maybe work for those kind of companies. Uh, so you'd phone people up offering them a job, but as soon as you mentioned that it was it was uh, kind of affiliated with gambling or maybe alcohol because of their own personal beliefs and their values and maybe uh, religious influences, they, they would turn down those jobs, even, even if they were paying more or there were other, other factors that were great about the location of things. Uh, their own personal values stop them from from applying for those jobs. Uh, and then the third talk as well was also really useful uh, by a guy named Mark Preston. And he actually gave us a free copy of his book. Looking back now, maybe I should have uh, should have got it got it signed as well <laughs> whilst I was there. But I'm sure he'll uh, he'll appear on the circuit again. But yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with with uh, the Chester SEO group really and look out for future vlogs on uh, Bitcoin, I guess. I'm also going to do a, a couple of others as well because I'm not a massive consumer of vlogs. Uh, I love the Vlog Brothers, uh, John Green, his brother, and I love some of the books he's read and, and the movies that have been directed afterwards. So I, I used to love watching those guys. Uh, and then the other one, obviously, that I love is Gary Vaynerchuk. He, he was the one that sort of... From his words, I went on to then go and, yeah, try this. Uh, but yeah, so then whilst at the BYB shows, uh, there's, a, there's a girl there who's responsible for the events uh, and she knew that I was vlogging. So then she told me about some of the vloggers she liked. And they weren't necessarily the kind of people I would usually watch, but I give it a shot, watch them. And I thought I'd probably... Yeah, blatantly rip off some of their ideas, essentially. So uh, just like a QA and a session, uh, one of them where, where uh, some of their viewers sent in questions and they would answer them. So I'm just going to take their questions and answer them on, a, on another episode of this. Uh, and yeah, that, that kind of thing. So that's what you can look out for in the future. But uh, as usual, everythingchester.co.uk, uh, portvillaguide.co.uk uh, in Vanuatu. Like I said, there's not that much going on there. And my home site where you saw that moustache picture as well is going to be re-released re, uh, re in a mobile-friendly format. So the, the actual picture you saw was from the live website where I haven't got around to adding bootstrap and things, but it will be done soon. Uh, yeah, Twitter at contact underscore Roberts and the Everything Chester as well at every underscore Chester. Brilliant. Catch up with you soon. Bye.